There was a disturbance on the patio. Tim and Connolly were trying to pull Grant away from a tree and throw him into the swimming pool with all his clothes on. To my horror, Ryan went over to help them and Grant went in with a big splash. It happened so quickly that I don't think he realized that Ryan had been involved because as soon as he climbed out, he pushed in the host who was merely standing nearby. The man emerged looking unhappy at the disintegration of his soiree. Connolly then shoved in Tim and talked about dunking 75-year-old Patrick, but thankfully didn't follow through. I noticed somebody pointing out Ryan to Grant as he was toweling off. I don't know why I had to get involved with these people after I'd asked him to steer clear, but after that, there he was, crouching by the pool, talking to Bill Connolly while the poet treaded water. The older man suddenly grabbed his leg and tried to pull him in, but Ryan shook him off and poured beer onto his head to the amusement of everyone standing around. For the next half hour or so, Connolly attempted to avenge that indignity by trying to wrestle Ryan into the water, on one occasion, enlisting Grant's son to lure him outside on some pretense while he was with me. So, there I was, sitting by the open door, sipping some wine, when Ryan and Connolly fell into the room from the patio and crashed to the floor by my feet. Caviar paused in mid-air. I was mortified. Ryan had this middle-aged man pinned and thankfully managed to break a very awkward silence by saying, if you just wanted a kiss, you should have asked me. To my relief, most people laughed. I don't mind as long as I can be on top. The Irishman struggled furiously, wrapping one leg around Ryan's. Well, let's do it then. It should have ended there, but Ryan prolonged it, and the room's sympathy shifted. I noticed Grant enjoying my discomfort. I'm not sure if Ryan was trying to prove a point to me, the poet, or the party in general. But he finally stood up after I don't know how many moments and apologized to Connolly for keeping him down so long. Shake his, shaking his hand, he said, you were a good sport. The man forced a smile. Yes, you took it much too seriously. The fuck, man, shut up. Okay, thank you very much. Coming to you from Stanley Park. Escape and other stories, and uh, this is called uh, The Lost Summer. Thank you.